What is up, guys? It is Uncle Bob, and we are back for more Secret of Mana. Almost done with our lady friend's weapons. Um, full upgrade so far. Upgraded, 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 upgraded. All we have, upgraded, is two more levels for the bow and two more for the boomerang, and she is done. And then we only have one character left. Which it seems like the characters are taking, like, two times a piece. So it's not... So we shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, just keep away. Just keep away. She backflipped over the pollen spores. So yeah, hope everyone's doing all right today. Yesterday I didn't get to talk so much about what was going on, but uh, yeah, a couple days ago, I think it was while I was playing this, I said tomorrow's going to suck, which would have been yesterday was the tomorrow that sucked, and it did. It definitely did. Had my landlord, uh, had to tell her that because of how bad my peak season was at UPS this year, that we just flat out don't have money for rent. Well, we do, but it would jeopardize our ability to find a place after that. And of course, as soon as I told her, the first thing she does is say that uh, we have to be out at the end of the week if we don't pay rent. And it's like, that's, that's not how this goes. And I even told her that, like, I have no problem... At some point in the, like, as soon as we get out of here, working with her to make sure that she gets the money that she's owed. I don't even mind that. And obviously, honestly, like, I prefer that. Because I'm, I'm, I am a loser. Like, if I go out to, let's just say I go to Chipotle. And I get double meat on a burrito. This isn't an if, this is a when, but you know, we'll just say, if I get double meat, and they go up and I br they bring it to the register, and they didn't hear the person, or the person making the burrito didn't say it, if they don't actually put double meat on my order, I will correct them and say double meat. Like, I will pay extra for things, and not even mind it. If I go to a restaurant and I get, you know, a few beers and they miscount and they end up giving me, they end up charging me for less than I had, I'll correct them. Like, I have no problem making sure people get their money, especially because our landlord is a landlord. She's not like a faceless, you know, corporation that owns a bunch of houses and rents them out. Like, it's nothing like that. It's nothing... It's not a business. It's, you know, it's somebody's personal business. So, you know, I'm cool with that. And I would like to. And I imagine I'm going to in the end. But it's like, you know, it puts me in a position of, you know, do I... Do I pay for rent and risk not having a place to go? at the end of the month like potentially not have a place to stay potentially have to find a place for my kids to stay or do I save that money and just go late on rent which that's obviously the choice that you know you kind of got to make 
but the fact that she's like, oh, well, you're, you're breaking the rules of the lease, so you have to be out by, you know, by the end of the week, and it's like, that's not how, that's not how that goes, that is not how that goes, at the end of five days is the d- finished of the grace period that you get, and then after that, like, they can start putting in the process for an eviction, which still takes fucking close to 30 days, just about. And again, I have no problem setting up a fucking, like, payment plan or whatever with her, like, on top of the rent for the new place that I'm getting. Yeah, I love when it does that. Okay, I don't know how those weren't hitting you. And then, of course, as soon as I, you know, I tell her that we can't pay rent, she tries to, uh, you know, after threatening to kick us out, which she can't do, she decides that she's like, well, I'm going to be coming by the house this afternoon. And it's like, that's no, you cannot do that. Us not being able to pay rent is not a house emergency that gives you the ability to stop by without, uh, giving 24 hours notice. In fact, what it really feels like is that it's a, uh, what it really feels like is a fucking, uh, what it really feels like is a fucking, uh, what's the word? It feels like you're just trying to muscle in and it feels like you're trying to intimidate us. And it's like, I don't want to sit here feeling harassed my last month, which is kind of the whole reason that I was dreading having to do this is because my landlord is a fucking cunt and I can't stand her. So I knew as soon as we said that we couldn't pay rent, she was going to make everything about it difficult. And I even told her, like, you know, for your own security, if you have to... If you have to sign a... Um, if you have to file things with the, with the county courthouse in order to, uh, make sure the legal process starts for your safety, I was like, I completely understand. Like, that's not, it's not a problem at all. can't wait till I get the, honestly, when it comes to leveling up weapons, honestly, the bow and arrow and the javelin, I would say, are actually the hardest because they can only hit single enemies in one shot, whereas glove, the range is kind of ass, but you can actually hit multiple enemies with it, sword, axe, spear, you can all do it with those. The whip and the boomerang, you can do it with those. You can hit multiple things. But the bow requires just a little more time and finesse. Yeah, I know, it's like, us not being able to pay rent isn't an emergency that you can just 
stop by unannounced, especially when, you know, you're threatening that we're going to have to be out by the end of the week, which you can't do that. Uh, it feels like I have it doesn't really feel like there's, I don't feel any good faith that she's coming to, like, do an inspection. It feels like what she's coming to do is berate, is what it feels like she's coming to do. And it's like, listen, you're not my parent. You're my landlord. What we have is a business deal. If I violate the lease, then you give a notice or whatever. And it sucks because, you know, at one point, uh, towards the beginning of our living, sh uh, our tenantship here, I had... Because we're not supposed to have, you know, Mary J. Juanas on the premises. You know, what's not even supposed to, I don't think, be in my car. But it's not like they can fucking tell the difference. And it's not like I would let them if they could. But the, uh, But uh, one of the inspections that they did, I stupidly left what was a fresh bag of green in my dresser, and they could smell it, like, clear as crystal, except the opposite, because it was danky, it was danky stanky, and it's like, you know, she could have terminated our lease there. And also when we had people that were kind of overstaying their welcome, which I also was not a fan of these people staying over as long as they were staying over. But that's neither here nor there. This was months ago. And it's like, you know, I'm not going to... She always likes to bring up like, oh, I could have terminated the lease when it smelled like marijuana. And it's like, you could have, but you're also not going to use that as, like, a bargaining chip to, like, dangle over my head as to why, like, oh, you guys broke uh, the lease, so that means I'm going to break the lease. And it's like, no, that's not how this works. You don't get to just break the lease now. Just because we made a mistake. And especially because at the time, like, I had definitely let her know how grateful I was for her, you know, letting us off the hook with that. Like, I was very well aware of the severity. Especially because it was a fuck up on my part. Like, I never leave my shit in the house. And the one time I do is the day that they were coming for a fucking inspection like dude it was it was the dumbest thing to do it was a combination of just bad luck and just fucking bad timing pop pop So at some point, hopefully tonight, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully tonight, I get to talk with a real estate lawyer to just ask like, hey, you know, she's, she's just levying these threats around and what I would say being unreasonable. Is there any way that I could get her? Because, like, we have a repair in our bathroom that needs to be made. I Like, I told her. Like, I, it's not like we had any idea of, like, not letting you do house showings. Like, we were going to work with you for that. Work with you for, like, the plumber that's supposed to be coming. We still plan to. Like, it's not like we're not going to work with her now for, like, house repairs. But it's like, how are you going to... I lost my exact train of thought I was what I was saying. 
She sucks, that's what I'm saying. I was saying that it's not like we weren't working with her. Da 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 da. I don't know, man. Like, I get that she doesn't like us as tenants. Like, I get that. We haven't always been the best tenants. But also, there's a certain part where it's like, it feels like she's using that as an excuse to be, like, extra with all of this in the way that she acts and the way that she behaves. And I just don't like it. I don't like feeling like somebody's fucking blackmailing me over mistakes that like were already discussed, already figured out, already settled down and everything like there we go. That's what I'm looking for again. Oh, to be able to just clear through motherfuckers. And the thing is, is like, in our state, there is technically no, there's technically no 24-hour, like, landlord notice law. Some states have that. Some cities in the state of Illinois have that. Chicago does. But most, the whole state, it's not a law that that has to be a thing. But basically, every single, hell yeah, just gaining levels over here. Okay, how many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven and three quarters. Never mind. You have a shit ton you gotta do. But no, I want to be able to ask a lawyer, like, hey, is, if what she's doing isn't harassment, is there a point where it, like, needs to be? Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Because it's not like I'm not, we're not going to work with her, and we don't want to work with her to make sure that, you know, the house gets handed off and everything else. Like, we obviously want to make sure that she does. But it's just, like, as far as, like, conduct, I basically, for the next four weeks want her to just leave leave us the fuck alone I don't need you calling me to threaten me that you know I have to be out by the end of the week if I don't pay rent I don't need you calling and hassling me now I think if I read our lease correctly once we're more than five days late on rent, then they technically don't even need to give us 24-hour notice. But, you know. I would argue that her behavior bef uh, prior to this warrants... Uh, nice. I'd argue that the way that she's behaved, since it's like more feeling like harassment, if she can just fuck off. Like, you gotta do a showing, you got something that's gotta be done around the house, a repair that's gotta be made, sending someone in, just let me know. Other than that, I don't give a fuck. I don't need to feel like I'm being guilt tripped by somebody like, more than what my parents would do. Like, listen, if my parents wouldn't fucking... My parents wouldn't 
guilt trip me that much, you don't get to. There we go. Pa -pa. 20 minutes already. Boo -da boo. What's the one that you had? A bit on the whip? Might as well have that one. Y'all somehow blocked yourselves from reproducing. Yeah, because the honest truth is, if I would have known that if she would have, like, hey, just so you know past Bob ahead of time just so you know if your landlord forgives you and lets it slide about the whole Mary J. Juanas thing the price you gotta pay is she is going to be violating the lease agreement on her own and be a giant pain in the ass you know I would have just taken the I would have just taken the eviction at that point. Nice. Wow, so many misses. to finish this though I'm gonna edit this make my son some food and then I'm going to take myself a nap a nice like two hour nap
my lips still feel nice and minty. Use some Burt's Bees lip balm. Had something a bit salty for lunch, so my te my teeth, my lips were like a little, little sensitive. God damn it. Good, no kill steals. It's all mine. Sick dodge. Mm. Ooh, what a bad time to run. I think that's going to be simple enough. That's going to be it for the day. Like I said, I am knocking out right now. And that's not a good place to be in. Next time we'll clear up her shit and then make our way over to the sprites and do everything that she needs done. Which, by comparison, is actually a lot more than I thought it was yesterday. Didn't look like it, but it is. But, you know, we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to do it. No problem. But, yeah, that is it for the day, guys. Uh, next time, more grinding. Hopefully, not so much talking about my fucking shitty-ass landlord who I hate. So, yeah, till next time, guys. Peace.